I think this setup is probably the best setup. There's no running cats, there's no dogs, there's just, you know, and then you can actually see the packs. Hopefully, I don't know how far you can see them. It's multiple rows that way. I assume that you can just see, if I'm, I'm not even standing in the middle, right? Like this is the middle and then that's over here. So interestingly enough, you probably can only see a little bit of them. So <laughs> it's always hard to find like a new place. And like, you can be very lazy about it and just sit on my chair, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to sell you on this vision of a store. So close your eyes guys. And I want you to imagine we have a cafe it has chicken tendies and the winner of the games will get free tendies. Okay, amazing. Free tendies. I know you guys like that. Speaking your language. And they'll get free food. We'll have food. We'll have bubble tea. We'll have boba. We'll have, you know, a uh, Vietnamese iced tea. We'll have all these really cool drinks, right? That will charge you a lot of money for making a lot of profit then. Relatively speaking, so again, we're not going to be more expensive than Core Sword, our competitor, but it will be a nice place. We'll have events for cosplayers, we'll have events for artists, um, we'll have a print shop in the back. So our garage area, which will hopefully have a docking base to load our pallets of stuff, we'll have a print shop in the back. And if you have an artwork or you find a local artist that you met there and they want, you know, you want to use their template when they will give the artist a fee, we'll give them a payout. We'll contact the artist, say, hey, no, this person is really interested in printing your play mat. Do you want to, you know, we're going to give you this and we'll sign them the contracts. Uh, in addition, you know, I have my own artists, as many of you know, and I have tried to force on you. I tried to force feed it to you. You guys didn't like that too much, but you know, it is what it is, right? Uh, so we already have 400, 500, 600 pieces of Genshin Impact, Fate Grand Order, Fire Emblem, very few Fire Emblem, but mainly Genshin Impact, Fate Grand Order art pieces that we have available. So that will be a lot of fun. I think we can really, you know, have a cool print store in the back to do markers, play mats, metal cards, um, mouse pads, we can do t-shirts, right? Of your face if you want. And it'll all be done. You, you come in, you sit down for Friday Night Magic, which won't be on Friday, it'll be Saturday Night Magic. You come down, you sit, you, you get a boba tea, you get, you know, we won't be alcoholic beverages because that costs a lot more money. Uh, like Asgard Games, we're not gonna do that. Uh, and if you wanna be live streamed as a feature table, we'll have that arcing that I've seen it. I, we're gonna go buy one of them or maybe two and we'll have gameplay, which will be live streamed to Twitch, which will be uploaded to YouTube. Maybe even live stream to YouTube, dual live stream. We'll see what happens about that. Uh, we'll have a ton of inventory, more inventory, because I'm using my own personal inventory I've accumulated and dozens of Black Lotuses and Power Nine, dozens and dozens of boxes and sealed boxes. And you know, I bought a lot a lot of seal boxes, as you can see from the YouTube shorts. Uh, we probably, have, I think we have 39 boxes of Modern Horizons and 10 boxes of, so these are really cool stuff. We have New Phyrexia, we have, we have boxes like that too, older boxes. And we're gonna do live box breaks and you can either pay for the box in person, do the box break on live stream with us, or you can you know, buy it online and we'll ship it to you. We'll have our shipping department that also does our printing store. It'll have an office for my marketing. So I obviously own a marketing agency. All my employees right now are remote. And therefore I just want, I just want like some, a place to kind of hang out and you know, for me, you no. Know, so I don't want to be at the storefront. We'll have a store manager for that, but I want to just, you know, like an owner suite or something. So we'll have a podcast studio, which will be my office. We're gonna build out a podcast studio, kind of like Nelk Boys or Bradley Martin, you know, those podcasters, right? And so we'll do gameplay, box breaks, podcasting, or do live streaming on Twitch, and we'll have food. We'll have really, really good food because that's one of the things that I think, I, you know, it'll, it'll be so good. As many of you guys know, I like to eat very fancy food that even I will eat the food at this place. 
Um, so I will eat the chicken tendies and whatever else we have, the boba tea, unlimited boba. I mean, doesn't this sound good? Unlimited green, like boba tea. I mean, come on, right? And maybe the prizes will be kind of crazy, right? We're not going to be a WPN star. I have learned my lesson. WPN, no go. You do not want Wizard of Coast having anything on me uh, because they will turn on you, <laughs> you know, if you say the wrong thing. If you say, oh, I support Teresa Nielsen. Revolt, revolt. But if you want to punch a guy wearing a eight-year-old ballet dress and the guy's name is Jeremy Hambly, ding, 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 you know, hey, your WPN has been renewed for the next hundred years. Anyway, a slight joke aside, jokes aside, it's going to be a cool place. And it will be open, unlike my other two stores, my, other, my first store was open to public, my second and third were not. It will be open to the public. And we just ask that you have hygiene. So we will turn you away if you smell like crap. You know, we have basic hygiene, you know, like again with COVID and, you know, it's, it's a good excuse to, you know, promote hygiene because honestly, we don't want a dude taking pictures of people with butt cracks and then posting online and be like, oh, this is MTG Lions headquarters. <laughs> so dumb. God, that would be awful. That would be terrible for branding. Anyway, okay, so that's it. Um, we will be ready. We are getting ready. We're getting the merchandise ready. We're gonna probably probably throw it on a Kickstarter for cost or very close to cost. Um, I'm hoping to get my hands on merchandise this week to show that off to you guys on two weeks later, I guess, <laughs> depending on when it uploads. And I'm hoping the merchandising thing can be solved in a month. And then we're going to work on our social media. We're going to do some TikToking and live streaming samples and so on. YouTube Shorts. Uh, essentially, we're take. I am taking this very seriously, as if my life depended on whether or not this store is going to run successfully. Because again, I think you can only live your dreams a few times. I mean, you only really have a very short window. Everybody's got a dream. And you have a very short window to achieve that dream. I'm still in good health. I need to exercise more. I need to eat more, uh, eat better, eat healthier. But past a certain age, also my refrigerator. Now I realize there's a refrigerator. So there's cats, dogs, refrigerator, and you know fan. And plus the ceiling is echoing like crazy right now. I can hear the echoes. But you gotta try. So anyway, that's kind of my pitch to you. Um, when we do our grand opening, and you might be like, oh, when is it gonna open? I hope, uh, by October, I hope to have a whole team together. The print store team, the the podcaster, the, again, not all of these will be full-time jobs. Some of them will just be part-time college kids and they want a podcast, right? Um, one of my favorite podcasts of all time you know, it's, it's a very good podcast. I'm just gonna say its name, like give it a chance. It's uh, Call Her Daddy, right? It's two girls, they're very funny, they're very interactive. So do I need to be on the podcast? No. It'd be like two college friends and they're just bros and they're frat bros and they're talking about magic and Yu-Gi-Oh, whatever, right? And it could be even different people. Obviously we would have guests, so I, I think the podcasting idea is a new thing to me. I don't have a podcast. Uh, the previous time we hired a podcaster, she became an OnlyFans model. So, and she spent the majority of her time at the office doing OnlyFans related advertising, if you will, not really helping our agency in any way. Very fascinating story. If you want to take a look at it, look, go on my other channel, Gutless, which is hit it, it hit. 20,000, so it's the same print, the same problem I have is you got a successful marketing business, it's making hand over fist money. Why would I ever give a shit about this unsuccessful um, game store? It's the same idea with my social media. My, my dog channel is going to the moon, literally to the moon. And then my other channel, my marketing channel is at 20,000 and then this channel is just kind of dead. Um, it's easier to just do the, it's easy to procrastinate, right? And say, hey, well, I'm gonna sit on my chair and make a bunch of videos again. And it would be very easy to do that. 
instead of trying to experiment with these formats, which I still don't know if this works. I still have no idea if you can even hear me. I've tested the audio, it seems like it is okay, but you never really know until it's uploaded. <laughs> That's why I found out. At least there is audio. I just think that there's an echo. I think there's a phrase. I think there's cats running around and dogs running around. And you know, I think there's a lot of things that can be bad, but at least like you can see the box. That's kind of where I wanted it to be. I wanted, I'm not even centered. I realized that I'm not centered because the tripod is not centered. The tripod is leaning towards this way and <laughs> Oh, God. Anyway, that's it for this video. Bye, guys.